babies, it's Mackenzie. Today's video is one that I have been wanting to make for quite a while now, but I wanted to make sure that I had like a decent amount of plugs before I actually did it because it is a plug collection. My plugs are something that you guys ask me about all the time, so I figured that I would just get all of them together and talk to you about all of them where I got them from and that kind of thing. If you see anything you guys like, I will make sure that everything is linked down below so you can purchase them yourself if you would like to. I will start off with the tunnels that I own because I only own three pairs of this. The first pair of tunnels I got when I just decided to turn my hair purple again, so that was a wee while ago now, so that I would have tunnels that would match. I got these tunnels from Arctic Buffalo and they are just iodized purple and like gold uh, stainless steel tunnels <laughs> because of how long my ears have been at the size I just put them straight in without having to twist this them back. next pair only just arrived a couple of days ago. Pretty much the exact same pair but in plain. same screw on screw off back. I was at small sizes I noticed a lot that stainless steel tunnels would be really uncomfortable on like the inner parts of my ears where it like connects to your head at the bottom. Somehow they would just not sit in there properly and they'd always dig into my head and just cause a lot of discomfort. But with both of these pairs I have never had any trouble with that. I've like slept in these ones the other night which I've never done in steel tunnels before because it's just way too uncomfortable. The last pair of tunnels I had to show you guys is these wood ones. I don't remember what type of wood they are but I will include that somewhere. these tunnels are quite big and have like a lot going on they're really comfortable to wear I've never had any problems with them like digging into my heat next I will show you guys my stone plugs the first pair I have to show you guys is these concave onyx plugs onyx is one of my favorite stones to wear as plugs purely just because they're really black and sleek looking and they can go with absolutely anything These style of plugs are one of my favourites because you can see that the wearing space is extremely thick and so there's actually room for my lobe on there. I know that when most people stretch a lot bigger their lobes get a lot thinner but I had really chubby lobes to start off with so my lobes are still quite big. The next stone plugs I have to show you guys is these rose quartz ones. These ones are really similar to the Onyx ones in the fact that they are just round plugs. The next pair I have to show you guys gets into my teardrop plugs. Teardrop plugs are my absolute favourite. I just adore the way they look on most people. These ones here are my Opalite teardrop. These ones here are my And I know a lot of people worry about this because I get asked this question in person all the time. No, they don't change the shape of your ears. If you want to go back to wearing circle plugs, you won't have any trouble with that. The next teardrop plugs I have to show you guys is another pair of rose cords. If 
you haven't noticed, uh, there's kind of a theme. I really like Onyx Opalite and Rose Quartz. These ones again have the same super thick wearing space and are crazy comfortable. This pair is definitely one of my favourites and one of my automatic go-to pairs of plugs. The last pair of teardrop plugs I have to show you guys are my Onyx ones and they are the ones that I am wearing today. These ones look like this. They are obviously the same shape and have the same qualities as the other ones. The next plugs I have to show you guys is getting into my wood plugs. These ones are a personal favourite of a lot of people I know and they are my Bite Me plugs from UK Custom. The next wood plugs I own are also from UK Custom Plugs, or they're just called Custom Plugs now, I guess. These are these little baby bird ones. These plugs are all made from the same type of wood and all conditioned in the same way. The wearing space on them is really nice and thick and comfy and the wood around the back of the wearing space is really smooth too. I've never had problems with these ones getting uncomfy and digging into the back of my head. This next pair of acrylic plugs is only a size 30, I'm currently size 32, but I have kept them and still wear them occasionally because I paid a lot of money for them and I bought them just before I stretched up and I still hate myself. These ones are currently the only acrylic plugs that I own. Just because I'm a little bit iffy about acrylic, I've always noticed that when I wear acrylic my ears get really stinky. These next ones are ones that I get compliments about every single time I wear them. These are my purple glitter globe ones. I never ever thought that I would be the kind of person that would own glitter globe plugs, but here I am. These ones are also from Arctic Buffalo and they have them in pretty much like every single colour although these ones seem to be plastic or like acrylic as well. I haven't had problems with these ones stinking out my ears or anything but I think that may be because I avoid wearing them for so long since they've got liquid in them and I don't want to crack them in them. The last pair of actual plugs I have to show you guys is these ones. These ones have always been one of my favourite pairs of plugs just because they're so unique and always draw like the attention of everyone. stretched ear product I have to talk to you guys about is something I'm really excited about. They arrived just the other day and those are these brass hangers. I brought those hangers at the same time that I brought those seal tunnels just because I wasn't sure how they would look on plain lobes. I'm kind of a weirdo and I really like the way that my ears look when they don't have anything in them. I think it's really aesthetically pleasing. I know that freaks out a lot of people and I'm sorry but I just I really like it. With these hangers they have quite an interesting clip. It's just like a small piece of metal that you just hook into this bit here. Um, I did have a small problem with mine not being bent enough at the end and where they would fall out and stuff. But I just whipped out my floristry tools and fixed that right up and I so far haven't had any issues with them like falling Those are out. my plugs that I currently own at the moment. I know it wasn't a whole lot but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing them 
anyway. Like I said earlier, I will link all of the ones that are still available down below so you can check them out and buy them for yourself if you're interested. Most of you guys know now, you're probably sick of hearing it, I have a discount code for Arctic Buffalo that I will put here that you guys can use on absolutely anything from their website. I will link all of my social medias down below so you can check me out on Snapchat, Tumblr, and Instagram if you like. Until the next video, remember to stay happy, stay hydrated, and stay kind.